Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I am the guy who picked Sergei Pavlovich to defeat Tom Aspinall. And that is why you probably shouldn't listen to me when I break down Mateus Nicolau versus Manel Kopp. This is the co-main event for the fight night. And much like the main event, this is a rematch. These guys fought three years ago, and it was a razor-thin decision. Really could have gone either way. But uh, Nicolau ended up winning, I think a unanimous decision even. But uh, whatever it was, he won. Nicolau is 31 years old, 19-3 and 1 as a pro. And he's got 1 inch of height, but giving up 2 inches of reach over 30-year-old cop, who is 19 and 6. I will break down their fight in a second, but their first fight. But uh, here I just wanted to mention about Mateus Nicolau without getting into everybody's record and whatever, because the real pertinent information here is their first fight. But I have to mention that Mateus Nicolau, at 31 years old, in his athletic prime, he is an unhealthy fighter. He's got three losses via knockout and no other losses at all. All three of his losses are via knockout, and that is exceptional for a flyweight. That would probably be exceptional even for a heavyweight, but certainly for a flyweight, it is exceptional. They're all to great fighters, but it still is no coincidence that they're all via knockout. Brandon Royval knocked him out last year with a knee, or this year, whatever it was. Um, Dustin Ortiz knocked him out in his first UFC stint with a head kick. And Pedro Nobre, former UFC fighter for a very shameful cup of coffee, he TKO'd Mateus Nicolau standing uh, way back when on the regional scene. Those are all very good fighters, but still, again, it's no coincidence that all three are via knockout. And he is fighting Manel Kopp, who, despite having gone 15 minutes with Nicolau and not been able to finish him, Kopp is still one of the top candidates to finish anybody, frankly. He's maybe the most dangerous guy at flyweight. If not, he's one of the most dangerous um, 11 knockouts and his 19 wins, 5 submissions, just 3 decision victories. He is a very difficult guy to outpoint as well, Manel Kopp. Uh, Mateus Nicolau is one of the few guys to get it done, but again, that decision was really razor thin. Manel Kopp was able to largely take away the grappling of Nicolau after round 1, and as Stevie the Cat makes her appearance, and I thought, in general... It came down to round three. It was a close tactical battle, but I thought Manel Kopp kind of stole the fight in the last minute, even though it really could have gone either way. Uh, how the fight broke down is Mateos Nicolau came out of the gate really strongly, started winning with um, a, calf, a few calf kicks early on, which threw Manel Kopp off as a striker, and then anytime he got in, Mateos Nicolau was meeting him with punches and takedowns. Secured, I believe, two takedowns in round one, had some good control, and definitely got the better of him. But uh, Manel Kopp was able to keep himself safe, uh, get back to his feet, and in round two, he was dominant. He started leading the dance with his hands, never letting the kicks be a factor, and he's hurt. Um, he hurt Mateus Nicolau early in round two and really poured it on, and I thought he had an excellent round. But Nicolau kept himself safe, and he survived in the end. And in round three, it was Nicolau who came out of the gate strongly and started uh, winning with his hands, I thought. The first half of the round, he was really getting the better of cop, beating him to the punch and just... Uh, a lot of well-timed attacks, and I think he threw Manel Kopp off. But Manel Kopp battled back in the final minute of the fight and made it really, really close. Again, I feel like on rewatch, it should have gone to Kopp. I think I scored it for Nicolau the first time. But uh, regardless, Kopp is going to be a difficult guy to outpoint because he's a difficult guy to wrangle, and on the feet, he's a problem for anybody, You know, even in a pure points battle. So I kind of favor Kopp in a points battle, but... That's without factoring in the chin and the knockout. And the knockout, I certainly favor Manel Kopp. He's never been knocked out, and again, he's maybe the most dangerous guy. So I think with uh, Mateus Nicolau only weaker now with another concussion against Brandon Royval in his most recent fight, the knockout is certainly going to be there for Manel Kopp. And even without it, I like Manel Kopp to outpoint Mateus Nicolau. So Manel Kopp is the pick. Manel Kopp, I threw a small bet on him, but I don't love his odds. You know, uh, Mateus Nicolau, plus 180, 
That looks pretty juicy, but again, I can't uh, bet on him because I feel pretty strongly that Manel Kopp will win, whether it's decision or knockout. So Kopp is the pick. Maybe if a prop jumps out on me, I'll bet on it. But right now, I'm lukewarm on his money line. Like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit. Check out my other videos.